Welcome to part 10 of the CKA series. In the previous part, we began discussing the upcoming changes to CKA scenarios and covered health check related topics. In this video, we'll focus on resource quota related questions. Without further ado, let's get started. The next question is, you are tasked with setting up a Kubernetes namespace named kubedev for an application team. The team should only be allowed to create a maximum of five pods in their namespace. Okay, let's go to the cluster. Let's create the namespace. OK namespace created, then next we need create resource quotas, so let's take the help from documentation. Search for resource quotas. OK, we can take this as reference, just copy and paste it into the UML file. We can give a name, as per the question there not mentioned any name for resource quote so we can give anything here. We can remove memory and CPU entries. Namespace should be cube dev. OK, let's apply. Oh, getting some errors. Yes, some indentation errors there. Let's fix it. Pods should be 5. Let's apply again. Yes, resource quote is created. Let's verify it. Yes, resource quotas has created. We can see now there is no pods on the namespace. Let's create some pods and verify whether it will block or not if we exceed more than five pods. I'm going to create some pods here, but in the exam, you don't need to run pods for verifying. So far we created three pods, let's create few more. Yes now five pods, let's create one more pod and see what will happen. 
Yes, it is blocking further pods creation. Let's check the resource quota. Now pods count is 5 out of 5, which means our resource quota is perfect. Next we can solve one more question from the resource quotas. The next question is, you are responsible for managing resources in a Kubernetes cluster. Create a namespace called kubedev and restrict its total memory usage to a maximum of 5 gigabytes. Okay, without delay, let's go to the cluster. Create the namespace first. Okay, let's take the documentation. Please note, this is the resource name we have to use for this scenario. Here you can see so many types of resources related with memory CPU requests. You have to learn each and every resources and practices it. Okay, let's copy this YAML file. Fix the indentations. Requested memory is 5 gigabits. Similarly, memory limit should be 5 GB. Namespace should be cube dev. Yes, perfect, let's apply it. Oh, some errors. Again, errors. Oh, there is space in between request and memory. Let's remove it. It should work. Yes, we have implemented the memory quotas for our namespace. Next, we need to verify it. You don't need to verify it in the exam unless you have enough time. 
I have a pod YAML here, it is requesting 500 MB RAM and the limit is 1 GB. Ok let's try it. Yes our pod is running. Ok let's create few more pods. Ok let's check the quota now. We can see out of 5 GB limit it is now consumed 2 GB. Ok let's create one more pod with huge memory request. This time I'm requesting for 4 GB, let's see what will happen. Yes our quota limit is exceeded, it is blocking. Ok so our implementation is perfect. All right. Let me show you something else. What happens if I try to run a pod without specifying any memory requests or limits? The thing is, if a resource quota is set, Kubernetes will not allow you to run a pod without specifying memory requests. This is the end of this video. We will cover few more scenarios in the upcoming videos, stay tuned.